Hello and welcome to another episode of Bolts and Boost. As you can see, the front end of my brand new Sahara Unlimited Jeep Wrangler is torn apart. Uh, it's quite easy to tear the, the front grille off. It's uh, a six or seven of these little plastic clips you just pop off with the pry tool. And then there's um, just some clips you pop out at the bottom. But what brings us here today is I am replacing these dismal halogen lights that you get in a $70,000 Jeep nowadays um, due to COVID supply chain issues right. with some proper LEDs. Uh, these you could actually see at night. These, I'd be happy if my wife made it home in a winter's night when it gets dark at 4.30 and she has to drive across the city. So that's why I'm here today. Um, I ordered this kit off Amazon. I got a stupid price. I almost think it was maybe a uh, mistake, but it came with the brackets to adjust from a nine inch headlight to a seven inch headlight. And that's the bracket there. It also comes with this ring and it also comes with the proper adapter. So the headlights themselves did not come with the proper adapter. It came with this plug here. That plug is incorrect for the Jeep. Um, it also came with two wiring looms for daytime running light, which is the ring and also signal lights, which are not integrated in the factory headlight. So there's the proper sensor for a 2022 Sahara Unlimited. And then just right here is where we are gonna tie in the daytime running light and the signal light. So I'm going to build this one here, which is the passenger side. It's really, really simple to do guys. So this is the bracket in one piece. You're gonna take these three screws off. And all you're going to do literally is put this over this piece like so and align the screw holes and put the light in it. That's literally all you do. Easy and simple. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, this, this headlight bracket kit does come with decent instructions. They're not the greatest, but they're decent to follow. So uh, I'm just going to follow the instructions. Um, I wasn't going to do a video today, but I wanted to just because I had a hard time even researching what the hell works on the Jeep, what doesn't work. So I'm here to tell you and show you what I'm doing. And if it works, maybe I plug this all in and the dash lights up and says, uh, -uh not going to work because it's like a canvas system or something. Who knows? But I'm here to try it. I'm here to pass on the knowledge to you guys. So again, this kit, even though it says 2018, 2019 JL, is working for me so far. So we're gonna go ahead and find out. This whole thing came with everything. Came with the brackets, came with the headlights, came with everything. So I'm gonna go ahead, put this headlight into this bracket system, and then we're gonna put it in the Jeep. Just before I go ahead and do that, I just wanted to show you guys, the clips are up here for the grill. Super easy, you just pry them up, pull the whole clip out afterwards and then it just has like the normal clip system that you just push in that's it there's i didn't have to take off any fasteners for my front grill the headlight has one connector down here and then the other side will be the same thing there's three bolts holding the headlight in each one they do have factory loctite on them so just be aware of that and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put the headlight in so I'm just about ready to slide the headlight in here. I just wanted to show you guys that this actually has notches in it. This, this bracket system is a really nice kit here. It has these notches to assure that you put the headlight in straight as it should go into the Jeep. So here's this ring I was telling you about. You, you literally just slide the silicone ring on top and you just align the holes up. So I'm gonna do that now because I can't do it with one hand. Literally gonna slide it over the headlight and then bolt it back in. All right, so there's the notch system right there. You can see it, that little 
peg out there, you could see how it just the headlight slides in, and that's how you center the headlight. And voila, she's in there. The hardest part of doing this is just getting those little screws in there because you can't hold it from the bottom because if you hold it from the bottom, you just push the headlight out. So, yeah, she's good to go. So I'm going to go and slide this in there. And, yeah, I, I bought this whole thing. I bought this whole thing, so the kit, which is the bracketry and the uh, harness adapters with the headlights for like $76 off Amazon. There was an $88 off coupon. So I swear they entered it wrong, but um, yeah. So there's really no risk to this because I could easily sell these if I had to for that. Uh, however, we did want the black housings, but the coupon code was not for the black housings. It was just for the chrome ones, <laughs> not a huge fan. Ugh, choking on my spit here, but like it's going to be like a hundred times better than this system. So uh, let's go ahead and make sure it goes into the Jeep. All right, first one is installed. And as you can see, it's a lot smaller than this one, but it's going to produce way more light. And that's why we have this adapter ring in there. This is actually a really nice unit. It's powder coated. I don't think it'll rust. And if it does, it'll probably take a long time of stones and everything, debris. Um, it's easy to adjust. It has these little spring um, screws in there. So tighten them and loosen them as you need. But uh, let's do the exciting part and see what she looks like here. Give me two seconds. All right, guys. So surprise. Oh, look how bright that thing is <laughs> compared to this. Like, that's not safe. Especially in today's world where every car has something like that. So, like, look at the difference. We're in broad daylight right now. Like, that looks awesome. I'm going to go show the wife. And there you have it. Needless to say, she loved them. However, she didn't like how much smaller they were. And she's worried how they're going to fit in the grill. I also have that kind of, you know, issue. Um, something to be said is... I am always for factory stuff, especially when we have brand new vehicles. You don't touch them as much as you can. You know, wheels is a different story. You know, little things here and there, but headlights is something I'd usually leave alone. But like I said, when you're spending this kind of money on a vehicle, you shouldn't get lights that are, you know, probably 1990s technology and you can barely see at night. Um, I feel way more comfortable with my wife having these. So that being said, this one's installed all nice. I'm going to go get the grill and see how it fits. I'm hoping that it fits nice and looks nice. The only thing that I can think of is that this light is a lot more flat than the factory dome style. So we're going to see. Um, I did not hook up the DRLs or the signals, just because these lights don't have those. Well, this has DRLs, but it's super dim, but there's also daytime running lights in these lights here. So I think we can get away with it. If not, it will not take much to, uh, to wire this in with a fuse tap, which I do have on the way. So let's go get the grill and see if this looks okay. I just wanted to show you guys the clips I was talking about. So once you do the, the clips up here, those plastic ones right there, you're just going to give it a tug from beneath. I used this bar here. I just pried it with my fingers, my hand, and it worked good. So, yeah. All right, so the grill is pretty much on. All the clips on the bottom are in. So my wife and I's suspicion was correct. There's about a finger gap all around here. Um... I'm probably just going to get some washers and put it on there. That's what I think I'm going to do. Um, just because, like, I can't put those halogens back in, right? So I think I'm just going to put some washers um, between this, the bracket, and the, and the body of the Jeep, which will bring the lights forward. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that. All right, washers are in. Uh, it did push out the headlights a tad. Um, it's not going to be sealed, obviously, but I wanted to, you know, improve it at least a little bit. 
I did have to use two of the same sized washers here just because this insert is angled and I use a bigger and a smaller washer on the rest of them. All of them are the same size, thickness. And you want that because you don't want to change the geometry of the mounting bracket, right? Because that'll change the ge geometry of the headlight. So instead of using a small one and a big one for these two, because those are straight in, I use two big ones here. So the, uh, the washers are straight, whereas before the smaller one's getting kind of caved in into that insert. So good to go. I'm going to throw the grill on. Um, it's not going to seal. Obviously, this is a Jeep. They're not meant to be airtight here. Um, it looks like they got a lot of good drainage going on. So uh, I'm not too worried about it. We're going to wash this thing um, tons as we do all our vehicles. If you look here, it wasn't sealed here either. So this is not a water seal by any means, even though this, the grill would line up to here, right? But it was not sealing there. So I don't know. I'm going to throw the grill on and, and we'll see. I did test it before I did all this work. I turned it on. All the lights work. Um, it also... I put it on auto, they shut off when we're in the garage, and they turn on when we're outside. Sorry, other way around. <laughs> they turn off when we're in the sun, and they turn on while I pull it into the garage, so everything's working. All right, that's what she looks like, all buttoned up. See, this space decreased a ton. Um, those washers did a lot, plus actually clipping in the, uh, the grill. See what it looks like. Oh, I thought those would turn on. Here, let me see if I use this. There you go. So they look much, much better. I am super happy with the result. I did check the high beams. High beams are working. Look at that. Cannot go wrong for $76. I'll put the dis I'll put the link to the product in the description for you guys. Um, I can't promise you that the uh, that the sale will still be there, the coupon code, but even at, you know, whatever it was, 170 bucks, can't go wrong. Um, the, the proper JL kits for this thing are like $500 to, you know, sky's the limit. Not really, but like, I've seen them as high as 1500 bucks. For the bolt-in kits for the JLs so not bad not bad super stoked actually so uh, well I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up if this has helped you um, ho hopefully you know I've answered a lot of your specific 2022 JL questions I can't talk to the 2021s um, or previous years but the kit that I have is for 2018 plus our 2018 to 2019, probably just old inventory. Um, and it worked on my 2022. So hopefully that answers your questions. I showed you guys the connectors and everything. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Check out other videos on the channel. Like and subscribe. All right, everybody. Peace.